Hey, this is Jonathan, Legacy Hill Real Estate, and today I want to talk about beach access a little bit. So beach access has been uh, an evolving topic for the last couple of years here, kind of shifting what we're seeing. But when it comes to buying a beach home here, you have a couple of options, kind of like in a ski town, whether you want to ski in, ski out, or you want to drive to the lot in the morning. So you can be Gulf Front, of course, and have uh, the land in front of you um, for that specific home or condo. You could be in a neighborhood that is a Gulf Front community that the whole community kind of funnels down to the beachfront land that that community has. Uh, you could be off the beach and still have deeded beach access with your property, or you could be a home that is like what most of us that live here have uh, that doesn't have anything and we use the public beach accesses in state parks. So when it comes to that, um, there's, there are options that we can help navigate and explore with you and um, also you know it's worth checking out when you're in town uh, what these beach access points look like and how much space each of them have. Um, you've got some areas on, on 30A where they're as frequent as every block and then you have other areas where they're a little less frequent and you want to use a golf cart or a car and um, also you'll find some are very large with lots of parking and restrooms water fountains and all that where others you're really only going to be able to get to on a bike or on foot